Alright, welcome back guys. Um, this is the last video on this section of this little project where we're building out our little scene. So I'm just going to uh, show you what we've done. We've made a nice terrain with a couple of textures. Um, I always find two or three textures are is more than enough to make a scene look really nice. Anything more, it looks a bit, um, it looks a bit scruffy, you know. So we've got a nice water effect. It's really nice. We've just used the the uh, primitive um, so the circular mesh. We can make our own mesh if we wanted to, but um, that looks really nice. Uh, we've we've smoothed out our little path for our character. We've put a few. Um, particle effects in the sky to make a nice cloud uh, cloudy sky and uh, what was the other thing we did we modeled that we modeled a wind turbine so in this video the first thing I want to do is to rotate the turbines let's quit this make a new folder uh, script and um, right what I was going to do let's firstly delete this we don't need our Lambert material from our wind turbine I made another one um, and let's tidy this up a bit I'm just gonna make an empty game object call it turbines and let's just put all our wind turbines in here just to make things a bit tidier and um, save it out so let's go ahead and create our C sharp script let's just call it I don't know turbine rotation Open it in Mono Develop. Don't need that. So uh, this dot transform rotate zero degrees in the X. So it's going to rotate around the Z, I think. So let's just try zero zero two for example. And as simple as that, <laughs> one line of code. So let's go back into this. Um, where's our prefab? Our turbine prefab. And let's stick it on the uh, turbines. Let's go into Unity, and that's perfect. Actually, that's pretty good. It's rotating around the right point and uh, looks realistic. So, a bit of animation for you there. So, it's amazing what one line of code can do for your scene. <laughs> all right, um, and that's it. Actually, that's all I wanted to do for this video. Very short video. Um, so as a recap we've also made barriers in our scene so we can't fall off alright guys so in the next section of this uh, now we've built out our scene I'll probably add loads of nature to it so we're gonna put in more terrain stuff uh, some plants and flowers we're gonna model out some we might model out some animals and make some animals running about we might do some flying birds you know so um, you can do these in a mixture in a number of ways you can have particles again you can um, 3D model and animate it. So I'll experiment with these, and um, I'm going to present to you the best way of doing it. So, and I might add some interactions as well. So um, I hope you continue watching, guys. I hope you've learned something in this little project. So that's the main thing, as long as you've learned something. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to put some stuff in our scene we just built. So hopefully, see you then, guys. Thanks for watching.